Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up XAMPP on your Mac operating system. In addition, I'm also going to show you how you can launch your first uh, Hello World uh, page with PHP using XAMPP. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for uh, install XAMPP. And the first link which will appear here will be from uh, apachefriends.org forward slash download. So I'm going to click on this link. If you reach to the home page of uh, this apachefriends.org website, you can directly see this downloads tab here. So click on this and then scroll down a little where you will see the option for the Mac OS also. So here we are going to select the latest version which is 8.2.4 at the time of making this uh, video. So I'm going to click on this download 64-bit option here. And once I click on this download button, the download will start automatically. So right now the download has not been started in my case. And it says your download will start automatically if it doesn't click here. So I'm going to click uh, on this link once again. And then from this list, I can uh, select the uh, XAMPP Mac option here and then I can select the latest version which is 8.2.4 and then click on this DMG file which is going to start the download of this DMG file hopefully. So now this time this DMG file has been downloaded. So if you have problem downloading the DMG file then you can go with the option which I have chosen to download this DMG file. So once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this DMG file and then let me minimize the browser here. So our XAMPP installer looks like this. So I'm going to just double click on this installer option, which is going to show me uh, this kind of warning. I need to provide my MacBook's password, which I use to log into my MacBook here. So I'm going to give my MacBook's password and then click on OK here. And now I can see the XAMPP setup. Right. So at this point, I can just minimize this and then I can go ahead with the XAMPP setup here. So I'm going to click on next here and then it says uh, select components. I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on next here. And you can see XAMPP will be installed to applications folder. I'm OK with this option. So I'm going to click on next once again. And then it says setup is now ready to begin installing XAMPP on your computer. I'm going to click on next once again, which is going to start the installation of XAMPP on my Mac operating system. So just wait for a few seconds until this installation is finished. And now I can see that the installation of XAMPP has been finished. And it says setup has uh, finished installing XAMPP on your computer. And just leave this checkbox as checked, which is going to launch XAMPP as soon as you click on this finish button. So I'm going to click on finish here and I can see uh, this uh, web page has been opened on my browser and also this XAMPP application has been started on my Mac operating system. Now, when I close this application, so let me close this XAMPP application here. To relaunch your XAMPP application, you can click on launch pad here and you will be able to see this XAMPP option here in others, right? So I'm going to just uh, go to the others option and then click on manager hyphen OSX, which is going to give me this kind of uh, uh, warning. So I'm going to just uh, give my uh, MacBook's password here. And once I give my MacBook's password, it's going to launch this XAMPP uh, application, okay? So once XAMPP is launched, you will see three tabs here. You can click on Manage Servers option. And by default, Apache Web Server is running here, right? So you can uh, stop this server, restart this server, and configure this server from here itself. You can also see my SQL database has been stopped. So you need to uh, run this. So I can just select this option and then click on Start which is going to start the MySQL database also. So just wait for a few seconds until this uh, button shows green color. So you can see now 
the MySQL database has been running. I can also click on this configure option when I select, let's say, Apache Web Server and then click on configure. I can see the open access log option, error log option and conf file option. So I can change uh, the config option from here and also I can change the default port, which is port 80 by default. I can even change this port. So when I change this uh, port, I can uh, launch the Apache web server on my browser with the different port. Similarly, when I select MySQL and click on configure, I can see the logs and the config file for MySQL. Now, when I go to the welcome tab here, I can see go to application, go to application folder. When I click on go to application, it's going to launch this uh, URL on my default browser, which is localhost forward slash dashboard. I can also write local host here and then press enter, which is also going to launch this web page. Here, if I want to launch the PHP admin, I can click on this uh, PHP my admin option here and it's going to launch this PHP my admin. So from here, I can click on databases and from here, I can even create a new database. So to create a new database, I can just give the name of my database. For example, my new underscore DB here and then I can uh, select one of these options and then click on create, which is going to create my database from here. Now I can uh, move on and uh, create my tables and then I can start using this PHP my admin on my Mac operating system. Now let's say you want to uh, create a PHP file and launch it using your uh, XAMPP server. So let me minimize this browser. Once again, go to your XAMPP application and then click on open application folder. And when I click on open application folder, it's going to open this kind of application folder where your files are located. If you want to uh, go to this uh, folder directly, then you can also click on Finder. So right click on Finder and then click on Applications here. And then when you scroll down, you will see the XAMPP option here. So you can see the XAMPP folder. So click on the XAMPP folder and then you will be able to see this XAMPP files option here. So your files are located here. Now here, when I uh, click on HT Docs option, Inside this ST Docs option, here I can create a different path. For example, if I want to create a demo path and once somebody opens localhost forward slash demo path, uh, I want to show some kind of uh, PHP output there. Then what I need to do is I need to just right click here and then create a new folder. And then I'm going to name my folder as demo, for example. And inside this folder, I can create a PHP file. So what I'm going to do is let me uh, launch the Visual Studio Code Editor. And once my Visual Studio Code Editor is launched, I can click on Open Folder and then click on Applications and then click on XAMPP here and then click on HT Docs where my demo folder is created. So here I have created this demo folder. I'm going to click on Add here and then uh, this folder has been uh, opened in Visual Studio Code. Here I'm going to uh, just create a very simple hello.php file. So click on new and then just write hello.php. And then here you can uh, just create your PHP code, right? Here you can write a, a very simple PHP script and save it. Once this uh, script is saved, you can go to your browser and then this time, just write localhost here. So localhost forward slash demo forward slash your file name, right? So our file name is hello.php, right? So I'm going to just write hello.php and then press enter. And it's going to just print hello world because in our PHP script, we are just echoing the hello world script. If I change this script,
for example like this and save this and then once again refresh this page it's going to show the changes so this is how you can also launch the php file using the samp server so that's it for this video this is how you can uh, install and set up XAMPP on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.